Welcome to today's episode of Surviving the Fog. Today's episode, we're going to be looking at the totem spawn location for Leary's Treatment Theater. Now, before we begin, I just want to let you know that we do stream live on Twitch here at twitch.tv slash parkless. We stream Thursdays through Sundays as well as Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. So if you want to check us out, see you there. Now, for those who don't know about totem spawns or if you're new to Dead by Daylight, every single map has a large pool of possible totem spawn locations. And whenever a trial start and the map is generated, it chooses five of those spawns at random based upon the survivor's starting location and the distance each totem is from each other. So in today's video, we're going to show you every single possible total spawn location at Leary's Treatment Theater. So it'll help you as a survivor, hopefully figure out where to find that hex on dying that's causing you so much trouble. And you as a killer toward the end of the game, if you need to start guarding your hex, no one escapes death. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into Leary's Treatment Theater. All right, so the first totem that we're going to be looking at here in Leary's is going to be in one of the exit gates. Now, Leary's has two distinct exit gates. One has a dumpster with some cedar blocks on the other side, and the other gate has a downed sign. The first one is going to be uh, in the side with the dumpster, and it's going to be actually behind the cedar block. So keep an eye out uh, whenever you spawn in, because you might spawn at a gate. Continuing with the exit gate with the dumpster, this next totem spawn as well as the one after this one is also going to be at this exact same exit gate. Uh, this one, however, is going to be on the opposite side. This totem is actually going to spawn behind the dumpster. So the first one's behind the cedar blocks. This one is going to be behind the dumpster. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at the third one. The third and final totem spawn here at the dumpster exit gate is actually going to be behind, tucked away next to one of the doors. So as you're leaving the exit gate going into the map, it's going to be at the right door. If you're coming from the map out towards the exit gate, it's the left side. So keep an eye out uh, for any of these three places if you happen to be around the dumpster exit gate. As we move into the map, the first set of totems that we're going to be looking at are the corner totems. Now, Leary's has four very distinct corners at the ends of each of its hallways, and the first one we're going to look at is what I call the bullshit junk corner. The reason I call it the bullshit junk corner is because this has a bunch of BS junk that the totem is hiding behind, specifically one of the laundry hampers and a knocked over shelf. The next corner totem we're going to be looking at is what I like to call the pallet junk totem. The reason is because in this corner, there's a pile of junk that is in a 90 degree angle in an L shape, and it usually has a pallet with it. Sometimes it has a generator. Now this totem is going to be on the back side of that pile of junk, usually resting next to some chairs. The third totem that you'll find in one of the corners, you'll notice because in this corner, there's going to be a large pillar. Uh, now this is also usually sectioned off by a gurney. Uh, now this totem is one of the easier ones to look out for if you know what you're looking for, but if you've never seen it, it's very easy to pass because it's kind of tucked away behind the gurney. So if you see this large pillar, give a little look behind the bed. The fourth and final corner totem, uh, this one is noted by another column, another pillar that's in this corner, but it's pulled out from the wall and you can get behind it. There's usually a pallet loop here that's by uh, a gurney and maybe some junk. This totem is gonna be on the back side of the gurney. I have seen it on the front side of the gurney on the pallet side as well. So keep an eye out if you see this loop in one of the corners. As we move further into the map, we're gonna continue on the outer hallway of Leary's and the first outer hallway totem, you're gonna to find behind a gurney that's gonna be nestled between a TV cart tray as well as a laundry basket. Now these totems will only spawn on the outer hallways, so keep an eye out for them uh, when you're running around the map. The next outer hallway totem is kind of an easy one to miss. So along the outer hall, you'll see some pillars that are pulled out from the outer wall. And on this pillar, you'll see a bench that is kind of angled at 15, 30 degrees out. Nestled behind this bench is gonna be the next totem. Now this one's pretty easy to miss, so keep your eyes peeled as you're running down the hallways. 
The next outer hall totem is actually going to kind of mirror the last one where the last one had the pillar pulled out from the outer wall with the bench that kind of angles at about 10 15 degrees this one is going to be on the other side of the pillar it's going to be actually inside one of the laundry hampers uh tucked behind a tv cart so keep an eye out for either one of these formations The next totem in the outer hall we're going to look at, uh, there's only a couple places with grass in this entire map, and this one on the outer hall is nestled behind a pillar. can have a generator or a pallet, but it's going to be tucked behind the pillar and another TV cart. So keep an eye out when you pass the grass. Here we're going to show the second variation of the grass totem on the outer hallway. This one has the pillar, it shows a gurney as well as uh, the pallet I was talking about. It's still gonna be on the outer side of the hallway, tucked between the gurney and the pillar. This one is kind of a variation on one that we showed a couple totems back. It's uh, gonna be another one of those pillars, but this time uh, it has the benches on opposite sides and on one side of the pillar, it, you're going to see a bench with a laundry hamper. This one's going to be kind of tucked in between the bench and the laundry hamper on the right side of the pillar. Usually every Leary's map spawns in with two long outer rooms. So in one of the outer hallways, the long hallway that sometimes has a pallet, this one is going to actually have a set of gurneys. And up against the outer wall, one of the gurneys tucked behind the corner is going to be this next totem. So this one's kind of hard to spot sometimes. The next long haul totem that can spawn is what's commonly referred to as the god pallet. This pallet has to be broken and there's no way around it or to loop it for the killer. Now in this god pallet hallway, the totem is actually going to be tucked, as with most of the outer totems, on the outside of the hallway and it's going to be tucked inside one of the laundry hampers next to the pallet itself. The next outer hall totem we're going to look at is going to be one of the more easier ones to spot. These halls tend to tee off between the outer rooms in the hall. So in this one, it's going to have some junk like a gurney and up against the outer wall is going to have some benches and a TV. Between one of these benches and the TV is going to be the totem itself. So again, just keep an eye out if you happen to see a gurney nearby. Variation on the grass totem is going to be one that also has a generator. It's not going to have a pallet, but this one is kind of tucked away between the generator and uh, one of the TV carts. So this one is one of the harder ones to spot if it's not lit up. If it is lit, it's pretty obvious. So if you see a pillar and a gen, take a look for a totem. The last outer hall totem that we're going to look at is going to be much like the first one where there's going to be a pillar that's pulled from the outer wall and to the left of it is going to be a TV tray that is going to have a bench that's angled from the tray inward toward the wall. This totem is going to be tucked behind the TV tray and next to the benches. So this one's uh, pretty easy to miss. So keep an eye out for it. Before we head toward the inside of Leary's, we're going to look at the second exit gate. This one is going to have a couple totem spawns in it as well. This one is the sign exit gate, as you'll note from the fallen sign in the courtyard. This first totem is going to be behind one of the doors. As you're leaving, it's going to be towards the left side. And if you're coming from inside to the gate, it's going to be on the right. The last totem we're going to look at on the outer edge of Leary's and also in this exit gate with the sign is going to be the totem that's behind the sign itself. So uh, if you're checking this exit gate or if you happen to spawn in it, check behind the sign and you'll find some easy blood points. As we move from the outer hallway of Leary's into the rooms, the first sets of rooms we're going to look at are going to be the long rooms. Now usually Two long rooms will spawn on each map with different variations, and the first variation we're going to look at is the bunk beds. This is most noticeable by the many bunk beds that are in this room. Sometimes there's a generator and a pallet. The first totem is going to be opposite the pallet, but usually on a wall that is facing towards the inside of the map itself. Now, with the bedroom long room, there is a variation where instead of bunk beds, it's going to be gurneys. It's also going to have that strong pallet like before. Sometimes it'll have a generator and it also has a, a different totem spawn. This totem spawn is again going to be towards the inside facing wall, but it's going to be between a gurney and one of the TV stands. 
The next room we're going to look at is the variation of the long room. This is going to be the shower long room. Now this one has shower stalls on the outside edges of the room as well as some bathtubs and some sinks towards the inside. Uh, this first totem is going to be in one of the single shower stalls that is open and not closed off. And this shower stall is usually toward the end of the room that's facing a corner. So keep an eye out for that. The next totem we're going to look at is in the bathroom, but it's going to be a variation of the long bathroom. Instead of the showers being on the outside wall, these are going to be on the inside and they're split off into two different types. The first type are the large enclosed standing showers and there's about four of those. And on the other side of the room are about five smaller, less enclosed showers. Now, this totem is going to be in that set of the smaller showers. There's a set of three and a set of two. This one is going to be in the single shower in the set of three. Uh, so the one by itself, it's usually behind a chair as well. Continuing in the bathroom in the long room variation where the showers are on the inside of the bathroom. This next totem we're going to look at is in, again, the group of five smaller showers with the pallet in between. Now, instead of the group of three, this one is actually in the group of two but it's on the side where the two in the group of three are facing. So basically kitty corner from the other one. Continuing in the long bathroom tile in the inner shower variation in the showers that have the enclosed, the set of four toward the back that doesn't have the pallet. Uh, this t uh, totem is gonna be in one of the back shower stalls that are more enclosed Kind of tucked away behind one of the corners toward the back of the room so if you happen to be in this variation just peek around the corners every once in a while something that we forgot to mention there are actually two more totems in the outer shower variation of the long room bathroom so this first totem that we're going to look at is actually around the tubs toward the back of the room this totem is actually next to the third tub the one that's by itself facing the inside of the map itself and one of the laundry baskets. And now for the last totem that is in the bathroom, again with the outer shower variation and the long bathroom tile. This totem is actually going to be in one of the more centralized shower stalls. This one is usually next to the pallet that's in the room and it's going to be in the enclosed shower stall behind one of the enclosure walls so keep an eye out for that this one can be a little easy to miss the third and final variation of the long rooms is what i'm calling the waiting room this waiting room variation has two totem spawns the first of which is actually pretty easy to find um, this one we're going to look at is actually located behind the reception desk in the waiting room so along the wall is going to be a kind of outcropped area with a very unsafe pallet. This totem is going to be right smack dab in the middle of the desk next to the pallet. The final long room totem that we're going to take a look at takes place yet again in the waiting room tile set variation of the long room. Now this totem is actually going to be towards the ends of one of the long rows of seating areas in the room. Uh, but more towards the inner of the long room and it's going to be at the ends of one of the plants next set of totems we're going to look at are in the many small different room tiles that can spawn throughout the map so the first one we're going to look at is a room known as the two tub room this is shown by the two bathtubs that are parallel to each other facing opposite directions this first totem is going to be next to one of the tubs inside one of the laundry hamper. This next room I've labeled the small bedroom. It has about four beds as well as some TV tray stands and TVs. Now this totem is going to be tucked in a corner between a bed and a laundry hamper. So keep an eye out for that one. This next one is going to be in the four tub small room. This is probably one of the easiest totems to spot. It's going to be between two of the four tubs and next to the pillar in the center of the room. This next room is a single gurney in the center with a knocked over gurney on the side, a bunch of x-rays being shown. This totem is going to be inside one of the knocked over hampers 
uh, towards one of the sides of the room. So this one can be kind of hard to spot sometimes. Now this next totem is in the small double gurney room. It has two gurneys in the center of the room, usually with a pallet in between them. This totem is in between the two gurneys as well, so keep a lookout for that. Now this totem is in a small shower room. It has three stalls, two on one side, one on the other, usually a pallet. Uh, this totem is going to be on the two stall side and there's going to be a chair in one of the stalls. Behind the chair is going to be that totem. So look out for that one. This next room I'm counting as a variation of the small shower room. This one's only going to have two shower stalls. They're going to be side by side and facing opposite directions. Now both showers look similar. The totem is going to be in the shower stall, usually next to the pallet that's in this room as well. Now to finish up our small room tiles, this one's going to be a smaller version of the waiting room. Uh, this is going to be usually one of the outer rooms. Now this tile has a totem that is going to be inside and kind of tucked in between the little U shape that the chairs form next to one of the wheelchairs there. As we're getting close to the end here, the next totem we're going to look at is in one of the more well-known rooms in the entire map. Some people call this the library, some people call this the office. Now, this totem is not actually in the main office room. It's actually in the reception area off to the side. Uh, this totem is going to be underneath the corner of the desk that leads out from the room itself. Now around the office room, there are these four L-shaped rooms and L-shaped rooms can only spawn around the office. One of the totems can spawn in the blue room that has the vending machine and it's going to spawn right next to the vending machine. Not too hard to miss. This next L-shaped room is not a variation. It's actually a separate room altogether. This is the shower L room and just like the other shower rooms with the totems, this totem is going to be in the single stall by itself behind one of the chairs. This one can be kind of hard to get to, uh, so you might need to adjust a couple times before you can actually start breaking it. With those inner rooms out of the way, now we go to the inner hallway intersection. Some of these can be kind of a pain in the butt to find, and this first one is none other than the bullshit junk totem. This inner hallway one, you know, because it has gurneys and trunks and hooks and stuff, this totem is hidden behind all of that in this little U-shaped outcropping. Next on the list of inner hall totems is kind of uh, reminiscent of some of the outer hall ones. Now, this one is going to be tucked away behind one of the benches, but you wouldn't really train your eye to this one. It's also being hidden by a gurney here. So if you see some benches kind of out from the wall, there could be a totem stuck behind that. This next inner hallway totem is usually around the pallet loop next to the office. Uh, now this one is actually outside of the loop itself. So as you're going through the loop and you go past the pallet, this totem is going to be pretty much in front of you, nestled between, again, some of the benches and a gurney kind of at a weird angle. So this one shouldn't be too hard to miss. This next inner hallway totem can spawn basically anywhere. It can spawn between the office and the theater, the theater and the exit gate, the office and the exit gate. And if it's not lit up, it's pretty easy to miss as it's tucked inside one of the knocked over laundry hampers that's around one of these loops that has a gurney in the center of the intersection. So this one you might want to keep an eye out for. This next totem is in an intersection usually up against a long wall um, and can tend to be towards the office as well, but it's you'll notice because it has a giant pillar in the center, sometimes a hook, sometimes a generator, but this totem is off to the side of one of the small rooms tucked away behind one of the TV trays. This next inner hallway totem has nothing really special going on with it. It's at an intersection where there's usually a pillar in the center, uh, sometimes a gurney, but usually a pallet as well. Uh, and it's tucked away usually between the gurney and the pillar. So keep an eye out for that. Not too hard to miss sometimes, depends on where you're going. As we're entering the home stretch here, we're going to take 
a look at the first totem in the theater itself this one's kind of actually on the outer edge it's going to be in one of those little reception desk areas that's in the hall between the hallways and you'll see it underneath one of the desks as we make our way through the inside of the treatment theater itself upstairs there are actually two totem spawns this first one we're going to look at is going to be kind of around where the two stairs converge up to the center with the control panels that kind of drop off if you continue to go around the upper octagon you'll notice a small kind of alley area behind one of the two staircases that has a set of stacked chairs and a little side table this totem is actually going to be in between those stacked chairs so this one's easy to miss as we get to the last totem here on Leary's, I just want to thank everybody who made it this far for sticking it out, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what you saw, make sure to give a like, and if you want to see more, you know, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, so, and you'll be notified whenever we put out some more videos. So this last totem is going to be all the way on the upper floor, all the way around the octagon, and it's going to be up against the back wall of the single set staircase. There's going to be a little desk and a chair, and the totem is going to be actually underneath that desk. So once again, I just want to thank everybody for watching this, and hope you all stay safe out there in the fog. So until next time, have a good one.